Hey guys. Uh, well, as promised, I'm going to show you that uh, neutral switch assembly uh, 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 removal and replacement. Uh, uh, first step is to take your seats out and uh, the little cowl cover uh, off. So uh, let me get that done and uh, I'll uh, be right back to you. Okay, we've uh, got the seats out now and the uh, little uh, cover uh, off. Um, now then, uh, we've got to take the uh, breather here off. We'll have a couple of uh, vacuum hoses, I guess is what you'd call these, to uh, take off one here, one over on the far side, and we've got a uh, little clamp here that's uh, that's got to come off. I can't remember now. I think I might have took it off up here. Uh, yeah, nearly positive I took it off up here. Um, it's got a little hex head uh, that, uh, that takes that off. Uh, but... Uh, let me go ahead and uh, get that out. Uh, like I said, there's a couple of them little, uh, I don't know exactly what you call them, little things that uh, just sort of pop in and expand. Little plastic deals that uh, kind of like, not exactly little screws, but anyway, there's a couple of them up here on the uh, front end underneath your gear shift. Uh, take your air filter box off uh, with that little hose and uh, get that out of the way. So be right back when I got that done. Okay, here is the uh, neutral switch assembly. Uh, it's uh, right down in here. See those two bolts right there? That's uh, what takes it off. You notice that little crack right there? That's where I broke it. Uh, if I'd have been a little more careful, I could have saved myself 70 bucks because just cleaning it fixed it. Uh, this cable routes up and around over past the uh, oil filter and down here to this little white uh, plug so uh, let me uh, get that thing uh, taken loose and uh, out of there and we'll slip the new one in I'll uh, show me show you my little break a little better oh it takes uh, number 10 uh, that's number 10 uh, hex head there and, uh, and then you use a little uh, allen wrench to uh, get the clamp off of this uh, breather here so uh, not sure exactly what size Allen head uh, maybe we'll figure that out later let me get that out of there all right show you what I did here uh, that's what I broke off broke that little ear off right there that's what made me have to uh, replace the whole unit uh, You'll notice right here, that's what all of these little contacts look like. Uh, when, when I first took it apart, this is what it's supposed to look like. And I can't really tell what it is, but uh, there we go. You can sort of see, um, that's what the new one looks like. I cleaned these lower ones on this old one in the field. Got it to... Uh, uh, that neutral light was just as bright and shiny. Yeah, I'd ne it'd never been that that bright since I bought the thing, and all I did was just scuff them up. <clears throat> it'd be way easier to do this in your garage. Uh, it really don't take that long. Uh, probably about thirty minutes to an hour tops uh, to get in there. Just be real careful. Don't break it. Uh, I got lucky. Mine broke in a way at an angle to where I could put the bolts in. And still get it out of the field so got lucky that way but uh all right well i'm gonna go put it back together let's say hopefully not touch it again for about 10 more years <coughs> okay uh something to be aware of uh that little uh o-ring right there gasket whatever you want to call it uh, uh, does not come on the new one um, I had to take that off I was a little bit uh, worried for a second because uh, dealing with old Jeeps and old tractors and stuff uh, sometimes those are pretty well seated and uh, you stand a big chance of uh, tearing them up but uh, it uh, it came off easily and uh, slipped right on to the uh, new one and uh, new part number 
just in case anybody needs it mine's an 06 uh, 660 the uh, neutral switch assembly uh, if you need the new part like I say if it's giving you trouble uh, most likely all it needs is a good cleaning uh, and it's a whole lot easier to do it in the shop than it is in the field it'll embarrass you in front of your friends make you want to just leave and take your rhino and go home uh, anyway all right let me put uh, put this back together all right well we got everything put back together uh, so we're gonna check everything out I'll show you the one thing that we did in the last video uh, is uh, we've got it set up now where uh, you can uh, push the brake and it'll start uh, but what we just fixed was the neutral switch uh, and put it in reverse that nice bright neutral light is what you're looking for it's uh, <clears throat> Man, anyway, I haven't had it that bright since uh, I bought the bought the machine. So uh, anyway, but it fires right up. So uh, success. Uh, looking forward to doing more videos with this little guy. Uh, so hope this helps out. Uh, I'm gonna be showing you a, a, a good walk around on it uh, pretty soon. Uh, I'm really impressed.